Hi. In this video, we will be using Centrify and Active Directory GPOs to enable File Vault 2 in a macOS system. The first part of this video starts with a checklist. We need to make sure that several things are ready before we start um, uh, our setup. And the first thing we need is an Active Directory account that is going to be used as our um, recovery account in case of somebody uh, not being able to decrypt um, uh, a hard drive. And this account has to be set up with a portable or a, mo a mobile account in the Mac. So this is the account is already set up with a Windows home directory. In a previous video you guys saw me setting up a mobile uh, mobile accounts or portable home drives. And this account has been already signed in and it's already set up here as a managed account that is a mobile account. Okay. Uh, the other checklist, checklist items are in the in the Mac OS machine itself. So uh, first and foremost, we need to make sure that this computer has a uh, recovery partition. So we can use uh, the disk utility to find this out. So disk util list will show us uh, the um, basically the partitions that we have and notice that we have a boot recovery hard drive here. The reason why we need this is because the Mac will actually boot uh, through through that uh, um, particular partition before it continues to boot up uh, and the user needs to type in their password to decrypt the hard drive um, through file vault. The next thing we need to make sure is that uh, the computer is name or the host name matches the computer name that is computer is joined as in AD. So if I look at AD info minus name, it will, it will show me how the computer is joined. And notice that it uh, the host name is Mac 109 and is joined as Mac 109. Alternatively, I can use the AD query user minus a and then the name of the sum account name of the computer account mac 109 dollar sign to be able to see more information for example um, the the canonical name of the computer object um, we also need to make sure that uh, you know from a consistency perspective that dns is working as expected Ideally, you would use tools like ADDNS um, to do dynamic updates. So in here, um, if I look at the IP address, notice this is the, uh, the 210 right here. All I need to make sure is that my DNS server has pretty much the same information. Um, and this computer does use uh, dynamic updates. So if I look at the Mac 109 here, I know that it's consistent. So, um, you know, everything seems to be ready for me to be able to set up this. And I'm going to start by, um, uh, you know, dividing this video in three parts too, so it's more easily consumed. So I'll see you in part two.